And he was saying that, you know, they've had their share of hits. They've got an average up above 280. Being another freshman who starts back there tonight. Collins in the air on a 2-1. Teodosio into the gap. And Carter Raffield sets him down 1-2. The payoff. That is ripped. And that is fair in the left. King cuts it off. And it's a two-out single for the hit machine, James Parker. But using all fields. Oh, well, here he works a walk. And Adam Hackenberg goes the opposite way, and Tate makes the running catch to end the inning and strand two for Clemson in the first. He's healthy, and he's getting his chance. Well, he starts the second inning with a four-pitch walk of Georgia. Is in the eighth spot in the starting shortstop, like we said. And they are aggressive. And the first pitch is smacked into left by Connor. And there are two on for Georgia in the second. And all the best to Coach Strickland. That one goes past French. And now the runners move up, even while he's away. Harbor clubs this one to left, sending Meredith back to make the catch, but to get King home. Georgia strikes first on the road. Yeah, and great job. Obviously, the ball didn't leave the yard, but he did his job. Into their season. This is bounced gently, and the runner cannot advance as Wagner throws out Rodgers. Two away, and Connor Tate had to stay put. Raffield's payoff. In the air toward right. Brewer was in, he's back, and Georgia will have to settle for one. Hits this one hard into right field for a base knock. 105 off the bat from French for a leadoff single. Getting an opportunity to stay in the lineup. Hits it hard to short, and Jonathan French runs into an out as Cole Tate connects with Harbor, and there's two away. Yeah, and that's one where, as a base runner, you got to know where your shortstop is. Uh, two twos cut on and missed. Pearson pulled the string, and Brewer strikes out. Pitches, and find your way on base. Works a walk here, and a one-out base runner for Georgia in the third. That's it hard on the ground. Wagner, Henderson, that's two for Raffield. And you see why they like Barker strikes out. Again, Pearson pulls a string, and he sets down the top. And Collins works a walk. Hits the breaking ball, back up the middle, and through. Collins stops at second, and the first two have reached for the Bulldogs. Hit, hitting the ball hard. Off the end of the bat here towards second. Henderson starts it. Parker turns it, not in time, and a run scores. It's a great job getting down the line. I mean, slow, slow roller. Henderson did everything he could. Parker had a really good turn right there, but he definitely beat it. One. Uh, he lifts this one to deep center. Uh, plenty of room for Teodosio. And that ends the top of the fourth. Opens up your hips and certainly doesn't allow you to. Well, Hackenberg scalds one up the middle and he's got a one out single and on for the first time for Clemson. Small sample size. Four pitch walk. Gowans one, two. Wagner swings and misses and a big punch out for Jack Gowan. And Anderson has worked a couple of walks his last two times. Pandy is 0-2. And McAllister drives this toward the gap in left center with Kier Meredith on the move, and it's Teodosio making the catch to end the inning. The competing, just slowing it down. It's a good aggressive approach. 1-2. Henderson on the ground. Cole Tate gobbles. McAllister turns, and they get to this time. And Pandia misses, so it's a leadoff walk. Enjoyable experiences that you seek out. On the ground to short, Parker starts it, Henderson turns it, and Pandia gets two. 1-1. One, one. That's it, hard past the second baseman, Henderson into right center. Well struck ball, 103 off the bat from Connor Tate. He's got a two out single here in the sixth to beat Kennesaw State. 
And he hits this one hard in the left field for a base hit. Back to back two out singles for the dogs. Thing about doing games from home, you, you don't really know where it is coming from. Oh, good dirt ball read there by Connor Tate, and then Parks Harbor follows suit. He works a five pitch walk across the two pitchers, and now they're loaded. Cole Tate in the air to deep center. Bryce Teodosio on the move, and he makes the catch to end the inning. All out of the ballpark, but. Comes back and he works a walk to lead off, or rather, for a one-out walk. Gave him, the, gave him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, this one gets away from Gonzalez, so Grice is now in the scoring position. The payoff on the ground, left side, and Cole Tate handles it and retires French. Good work by Nolan Crisp after he came out of the Georgia pen. Special years and didn't get a chance to... That is hit hard and fair by Fernando Gonzalez into the left field corner with Kier Meredith digging it out and Gonzalez digging his way to a leadoff double. Bridge with an 0-2. Cold strike three. Paints the fastball to the edge and a big first out for the Clemson right-hander. Third of this thing. That is in the air and behind the second base bag for Elijah Henderson. And out number two. Another 0-2, and there's the split change and a beauty from Rob Hughes. Punches out Collins. 2-2. Two -two. Chopper towards second. Tough play, and it gets past McAllister at a long way to go. Wagner sneaks it through with a one-out knock in the seventh. Well, he goes down looking there as Polk snaps one off and gets a backwards K for a big second out. 3-2. Meredith pulls one in the air to right toward the line with Connor Tate on the move to make the play. So Michael Polk on the eighth inning and on the road, he found a way to take the exam on Kennesaw State's campus. Drops this one as Teodosio couldn't make the play. King took a big turn, but he heads back to first. And the future orthopedic surgeon is on with a single. <laughs> then we started Tate off that breaking ball away. Bounce left side, Wagner, long throw. Henderson was able to stay on the bag and get the force for out number two, cutting down King. That's a heck of a job by Henderson staying on that bag. Let's see this again. Just. Sets his feet, and Henderson just stays on. Well, the umpires, yep. there is conclusive evidence, yep. and the call's confirmed. Hughes is 2-1. Sliced in the air with a long run for Max Wagner, who makes the catch. In the shift, a nice job tracking it to go against Virginia Tech to come from behind. And he ropes this one into left, and it hooks away from King and down for a knock. It's a single, and the tying run will come to the plate with the big bopper, Caden Grice. The payoff pitch is up high, and Clemson's got the would-be tying run aboard here in the eighth inning. First pitch is a breaking ball, and it hits him, so they're loaded. Here's ago and was the winning pitcher. And he gets French to swing through it and strike out. Two down. 21 strikeouts. Pasquas 2-1. Chopped right side. Handled by Rogers. And Darren Pasqua gets out of trouble. Leaves him loaded to end the eighth inning. Proved for Sunday usage. That's chopped right side. Grice handles. Hughes, in all the fury, works a 1-2-3 top of the ninth. Strike three called. Pasqua snaps off another beauty. He now faces Dylan Brewer, who rolls it up the middle, but right at the shortstop, Tate in the shift. Two down. Would be next. 2-2. Two -two. Hung on to by Marshall, and Georgia wins it. Wow. Uh, what, what a game. I mean, can you say enough about this Georgia pitching staff?